Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to share a recipe with you. It's an apple pie that I've seen out there that I don't know. don't know how it'll turn out, but it looked like it was pretty easy, and uh, we thought we'd give it a try. So here we go. So I got, uh, I used some Fuji apples because I didn't like the Granny Smith, and I didn't see no Golden Crisp or whatever there, but uh, we're going to try these Fuji apples. And I sliced up five apples. And put them in a well buttered dish, baking dish. Okay. And I'm uh, trying to have all my ingredients out of here. Got that oven preheating up to 320. Now we're going to take some. Cinnamon and spread on top of these apples and arrange them apples and then like that. This is my first time making this, so I don't know how it's going to go. But we're going to find out. So I'll butter that dish real good. And it, I don't know, I'm just using a lot of cinnamon. I don't have no idea how much, but I like cinnamon, so I'm just covering them apples. I'll show you, just like that there, I just covered the top of them pretty good. So now I got a, two cups of flour, sifted all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, and a tablespoon of... Uh, tablespoonful of baking powder. I got that in a bowl and I'm going to mix it all up here. I sifted the sugar and the flour. I got one of these uh, old timey. They got some of them fancy sifters out there, but I just use one of these. Just gets the clumps out. Out of the flour and out of the sugar. We're just going to stir that mixture up. Get it all mixed together. And that's what's so strange about this recipe. You'll see. We got this mixed together, I think. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna take this bowl of dried flour and sugar. We're gonna mix it right on top of them apples. Try to get it good. Try to get it across there real good. I don't really know what size baking dish you need to use. Uh, I, I cut up five apples. And you want to get this evenly across. And we'll probably have to use one of these little, uh, what you call it, spatulas or whatever the hell they call them. To get it kind of evened up. One of these delis. I'm just going to try to push that all across there. Just cover them apples. And try to get that flour and that sugar across there evenly as you can. That's what the recipe showed anyway. And we want our apples in there good. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know about the baking dish. I'm just using baking dish I always use for stuff. I think it's a 9 by 13. I might have, you could have used a smaller one. But we're going to go like that. And I got a stick of melted butter here. calls for a uh, hundred milliliters. That's just a little under a stick. So I use the rest of the stick to uh, the bottom of my dish with. So we're gonna mix that. I'm gonna 
It's got four eggs. Four eggs here. I'm gonna mix them up just a little. I'm gonna add that butter, that melted stick of butter. Melted stick of butter. I'm gonna add them, that melted stick of butter to them eggs. We're gonna whisk that up. It's all mixed good together. And then we're gonna try to pour that across the top of that dish, evenly. Just like we did the flour. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. Trust me, I don't know. It, it, it seemed like a pretty easy recipe, and I think it is. I think it's a kind of a learning experience what dish you use. We're going to find out. So we got that one done. Now we're gonna just take this little dilly here again, spread out that, spread our, our butter and eggs over the top the best we can. It'll be fun to see how it turns out. And you might want to get your apples and your I mean I didn't get them exactly level. And you know we'll see what happens here. That's going to be the main deal. Seeing what happens. But anyway, we got that done, I think. And now we're gonna we're gonna mix some cinnamon with about oh I don't know four or five dashes of cinnamon with a half a cup of sugar. We'll stir that up. You know, the biggest thing is getting all your stuff ready. And that, and that ain't hard either. It's a, I got a little kitchen here. I mean, I love it. It's just big enough for me. Sometimes it's hard to get stuff arranged in it where you want it when you're baking. But uh, everything's close together. And I just, my major problem is, is when I'm trying to video, I don't know that, that I got it where everybody can see it. Okay, so that's about a half a cup of sugar mixed with the cinnamon. And I'd, I'd probably put six, six dashes of uh, cinnamon in here and what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle that right on top of that egg mixture and like I say I try to sprinkle it not get too much in one area and not enough in another area and that's just damn near impossible for me I'm getting a little bit of it looks pretty good to me There's the finished product. And now we're gonna stick her in the oven at 320 degrees. <laughs> or about 
40 minutes. So we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll see how it looks. In fact, we might even taste a bite of it. They say to eat it warm, which ain't no problem, you know, you can, it's just me and my wife here, so we both like apples. We both like pie, so I might take a little bite of that just for a snack before supper time. But anyway, we'll uh, get back to you when that gets done baking. I'll call us back up. All righty, we back. We're gonna, we're gonna, I don't even really know how to tell if this thing's done. So I'll tell you how I'm gonna tell. There it is, there's that, it looks good. The way I'm gonna tell if it's done is I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give it a taste test. I mean it looks done. So I say the thing to do there is to I don't know how long you gotta let it sit or nothing. We're, we're basically just trying this out. And I'm just going to eat a little piece because, you know, supper's here in just a little while. I'm just going to eat a big enough piece to make sure y'all know how good it is. Big enough piece that I can show you what it looks like. Of course, I ain't gonna put no ice cream on it right now. But it looks to me like be real good with some ice cream. Of course, you know, I ain't never really found nothing that ain't good with ice cream. what that slice of pie looks like. I mean, you can call it a cake, I guess, if you want. I'm calling it a pie. And we're gonna, we're gonna give it a taste test here. It's probably pretty warm. I can handle it. Mm. You know, I would say that the bacon dish and everything's about the right size. I would try it with, you know, I like Granny Smith apples. I just didn't see any good enough in the store there that I like. I would try it with them. These Fuji apples are pretty good. You can kind of see the bite there, and that's mainly crust. Well, I really have no complaints. 
I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna have me a, a cup of coffee with it and finish that off. And I tell you, if you, if you like pie or anything like that, you like new recipes, give that a try. You know, all I can say about it is, it's good, it's real good. As far as I can tell, it's just pretty good. I'm gonna have me a couple. Big Easy Emerald Bold. I like the K-Rig, so I use the K-Rig and I have tried I can't tell you how many kinds of coffee I've tried. I've tried Hawaiian Blend Tully's. I've tried Warpath coffee. I've tried, uh, I've tried about all kinds. And I'm gonna tell you what, I keep some of that Warpath around for if I run out of this. I keep some of that Tully's Hawaiian Blend if I run out of this. But there ain't nothing that compares to this that I've tried. And I've been a coffee connoisseur for, for a good many years. And we're going to have us a big cup of this right now. Not a big cup, because I, I like mine real strong. So I just use the strong setting on the K-Rig. And I'm going to get that cooking right now. Well, I visit here with you just a little minute or two. And uh, I'm going to tell you, try this recipe if you get a chance. Try it for Thanksgiving. If you got a, if you got a sweet tooth, like me, I love sweets. Uh, I love them. You can tell by looking at me. I love them. But anyway, it's a really good pie. It's really good. So I'm going to go about eating this piece. I'm gonna show you a little bit more where I sliced it out of there. Just where you can see the way it comes out, I think. I hope you can see that. Anyway, give this recipe a shot. It's pretty easy. If I haven't explained it good enough, it takes about five apples, two cups of flour sifted, a cup of sugar sifted, and then all that goes in the same bowl. And then a tablespoon of baking powder. And mix all that together. Sprinkle a bunch of cinnamon on top of your apples. Uh, and then get that flour mixture all together, that flour and sugar mixture. And uh, sprinkle, just pour that across them apples. And then take four eggs and a stick of butter. Melted butter. Put that butter in with them eggs and beat that up. And pour that on top of that flour. Spread it all out. And then take a half a cup of sugar. And about six, seven dashes of cinnamon. You know, it depends on how people like cinnamon. I love it, so I go heavy on it. And uh, just sprinkle that on top of that egg mixture. Put it in the oven for about 40 minutes. I cooked mine for 44 minutes. Uh, Cause I got an old oven and I don't know how good it does, but it sure cooked this up nice. Anyway, and just enjoy. It's gonna be good. I might even try one for Thanksgiving. Well, I hope you do try this recipe and I hope that uh, you're having a great day. And hey, I might try some more recipes with you before Thanksgiving. I found a few. Uh, gonna give them a shot. Everybody have a great day. And God bless.